everybody and welcome to Mesh Control for a quick tips video. In this video we're going to talk about using Streaming ACN, Artnet Viewer, and Artnet Nominator. Streaming ACN View, Artnet View, and Artnet Nominator are three computer applications that allow you to see and send Streaming ACN or Artnet traffic on your network to help troubleshoot any issues. By being able to see the Artnet or Streaming ACN on the network, you can check that the console is sending the expected values on the correct universes or if there are other senders on the network causing conflicts. Links to each will be in the video description. This video is not intended to be a full review of the software, just a basic look at using them as troubleshooting tools. We'll start with Streaming ACN View. Streaming ACN View is made by Dockster and is a free to use application. It has Mac, Windows, and Linux versions available. Streaming ACN View can also transmit Streaming ACN if required. You're able to see the Streaming ACN centers and their priorities and labels being sent per universe slash channel. You can set which network interface to use if your computer has more than one. While it can be used on the same computer as the PC suite using the loopback adapter, I suggest using it on a separate computer for troubleshooting to make sure the data is making it to the network properly for other items to be able to use it. So let's take a look at that. Here I've got Streaming ACN View open, and I've got a, a couple of centers of the network using a Quartz and a T2. And here we can see that there are priorities and the values that they're currently sending out. And by the color of it shows you which one is uh, sending the values to the fixtures currently. If I click on here, I can open up my another universe, and we'll expand it out a little bit. And make it easy to see this now. We see they're getting changing values from uh, both consoles. So I'm going to set my priority on the quartz back to 100. We can see that we get flicker here and stuff going a little crazy, noticing that we have a conflict. So we can either set the priority on the other console or turn the other console's output off. And then see that now we only see the output from the single console. And we see the other one went away. We can also turn it back on, setting its priority higher. And now see that the quartz has full control. And you see that by its priority being 150 instead of 100. You also have it show per channel priority, and that's what the 150 would delineate. Artnet View is made by Hot Technique and is a free to use application. It has Mac and Windows versions available. While it shows levels, it's not as clear for checking for conflicts from multiple senders. While it can be used on the same computer as a PC suite, I again suggest using it on a separate computer for troubleshooting to make sure that the data is making it to the network properly for other items to use it. And it is not as clear as other applications if there are multiple centers on the network. So let's take a look at that. So here I've got Artnet View open, and I've got a shape running on my uh, Artnet center here, so we can see the levels changing through my them. We can see all the different channels here and their levels. If I was to turn another center on, it looks something like this. We're getting kind of weird flickering to it. Uh, it's kind of the so best way we can tell that we had two senders on here if we're getting random flickers and we're stuff that makes sense. If we turn the other sender off again, we can see that it becomes a little easier to tell that there's not a uh, odd sender on the network. We also set it to show the IP of what's coming in, and you get a nice little history graph of the input coming in uh, per channel when you click on it. We'll be able to see the value here. Artnet Nominator is made by Lightjams and is a free to use application. It is Windows only. You're able to set the subnet and universe to display. You can also easily see if there's more than one sender node on the network causing a conflict and seemingly random data. While it can be used on the same computer as the PC suite using the loopback adapter, I suggest using it on a separate computer for troubleshooting to make sure the data is making it to the network properly for the other items to use it. So let's have a look at it. So here we are with LightJams open. We see here, we set a different network, so we could choose a different network port if we wanted to. Uh, we could also choose a different subnet or my different or different universes. I can also see here with nodes, you can see it sees my Quartz and my Titan 2, or T2 as the case may be, on the network. The Quartz is not currently sending any data, but we can see here, we can see the data changing as the shape runs, so we see a little history for it. Uh, we can change it here and see the rapidly changing, or the more of the sine wave from the circle. If I was to turn on output on the quartz, we now see the quartz is sending, and our data is going a little crazy here, and we get a warning. We have multiple senders on this universe, 
letting us know that that's a problem. If we turn it back off and give it a moment, we can see that it's coming from the Titan II, or the T2 in this case, and that we're getting a nice not random data anymore. We can also hover over it and see what the data level currently is. Maybe something's not changing as much. Or it's changing, we can see it there. So this is a better look at using Shimmy ACN View, ArtNet View, or ArtNet Nominator to help troubleshoot your network protocols. I hope you learned something. Join us on Facebook at Events US. Join us here next time. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.